Warning! This is an adult-oriented podcast about really perverse things like communication and consent. If you're under 18 and looking for answers to questions about sex or kink, please visit scarletteen.com. For the dude bro listeners, this is nerdy shit for off. And now, here's Phil with the weather. Somebody help that poor submissive! Look, up there in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane? Is that a flogger? Someone's got to be having a good time. As the kink signal shines brightly in the night sky, we know that there is fuckery afoot. What kind of fucking town is this? No worries, as they've listened to the Gotham press beforehand, so all will be safe, sane, and consensual. Well, that's reassuring. Right? Yeah, but what's the Gotham press? What is the Gotham press, you ask? It's about time you tell us, don't you think? Well, I'll let the Cape Crusaders themselves educate you on that. A condom? Yes. That's so boring. Uh, can I just wear the latex doll outfit? Mm, With yeah. the condom inside? Yeah. yeah. I don't want you guys to have to wear a condom. All right. I'll just have my own insertable condom. I love you. Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh. You are now listening to the world-famous Gotham Press Podcast. Hey, listeners. Welcome back to the Gotham Press Podcast. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, Gothamites. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Right. Wait, is this going to Welcome Back, Connor? Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. See, I can't even do it right. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you... Welcome back, Cotter? Yeah. <sighs> You're I young. Feel... You're such a youngin. I'm so... older than him. Not Which, older than me, apparently. But I still know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I which, can't help it. Which makes me wonder, what were you doing when you were young? When I was young? How young? I'm not sure. When did Cotter come out? 70s. Probably 60s. Oh, okay. 70s. Well, I was born in 79, so... But it was probably record... Like, I probably saw reruns. Yeah, I, I probably didn't see the actual Wait, releases. did you have uh, Nickelodeon for Nick at Night? Fuck no. That wouldn't even have around. Nick at Night? Yeah, when? Nick and Knight was not around when I was a child. Nick okay. and Knight was around when I was a child. No uh, way. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. They were playing like the in old the in the nineties. No, not even in the like Nickelodeon late eighties. Oh, Nick at Night. Yeah, Nick at Night was late eighties. Oh, because I used to watch. Uh, they had like Dobie Gillis and My Three Sons. When I say nineties, I'm talking like ninety, ninety one, ninety two. Yeah, it was around then. Yeah, that's what that I, was I said. Way 90s. after, or like I wouldn't, I wasn't. 91, 92, I was 12, 13. We were running around the streets of Rexland, breaking into cars, stealing gasoline. Oh, my goodness. Who the hell's Rexland? Rexland Acres. Where's South that? South. Is it's, that in Bakersfield? Yeah. Union and Pacheco, going nope. south to Union to, like, Fairview. Actually, kind of excuse me, a little south from Fairview, but... No uh, one calls it that anymore, though, huh? Yeah. I'll take your word for all of this. <laughs> yeah. Places <laughs> that I don't go. Places yeah, I've you, never you heard probably of. wouldn't. <laughs> it's it's like Southside Oildale. I didn't know we were starting, and I was going to say something about the fan. Oh, is the fan too loud, or is it too cold now? It, well, uh, is it too loud? No. One, and I'm a little chilly, but I have a sweatshirt, so if you guys are comfortable, I'll just grab my sweatshirt. I was comfortable either way. You can go turn off the fan. No, well, our... <laughs> I've only got one hard nipple, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll just grab my sweatshirt, and then if you guys get cold, say something, and I'll turn it off. Okay. Right. Okay. Talk. This is the problem, listeners. We bring her here. We get her in, like in the studio. Yeah. It took so puts long on for her to get ready too. Oh like we've God. been trying to go since eleven a.m., <laughs> and she's just like one thing after another. Yeah. And now she's putting on clothing. <laughs> that is like the opposite of what we want on this podcast. Yeah. Gonna have to turn the heater on. They are lying. We definitely have to turn the heater on. I got here at ten thirty. I set up the tables. And the mics and yeah. all the equipment and because Lala does a lot more work than I will probably ever do for this podcast because she's the micromanager and she does she does the work. She and does I good stuff. I didn't do shit <laughs> except sit here and criticize the fact that the table isn't exactly straight. Hey, you showed up. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, listeners, we are actually in person recording for for this one. We are, and it's so amazing, and so I'm so happy. That's right. I'm yeah. so happy. Awesome. So I'm not sure if this is going to sound better, worse, this, the same. <laughs> We're going to find out. We are going to find out. I'm... Well, we won't. They are. They will. Well, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll be the editing, huh? Yeah. Uh, speaking of editing, um, last week's episode, 
big fat kudos to you for all that editing because it was horrendous while recording and you could hardly tell. Yes, that was like five hours or of editing. I bet. And also, listeners, I did not have a cold. It was just my jacked up mic. Just jacked up my mic. My lame mic. That's I did what not happens sound like when myself. you buy a $15 gaming headset hey. online. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was my husband's podcasting mic. Oh, snap. And it just did not work for me. Way to throw him under the bus. Yeah, well. Sorry, Rooster. <laughs> Maybe he bought the super cheap hit, right? Well, no, I think it was a good one. It He's... probably was. It was just your voice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And these are the things that we get into when we get back in person. Hey, should we introduce our guest? <laughs> hey, guest, who are you? I am not in- existent. I don't know. You're, you're a thief, aren't you? Of dreams sometimes. Of on dreams. occasion. O- only sometimes. Also of... One time DVDs from Walmart. Wait, what? Long you, time ago. You thiefed them? Oh, yes. And you didn't get caught? Fuck no, I worked there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had all the time in the world. There so you local go. Walmarts, if you know anyone in your... Not, not local, just, <laughs> just well, it was local, but it was just one. <laughs> and I only worked there for the, the holiday season and then I was out. And what's horrible about it is out of all the options I had, the movie I stole... Well, actually, take a guess. Pet Cemetery. No. Let's see, was it a holiday movie? No. Okay, what, approximately what year was it? Shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, was it something of that year? Yeah, it was. Was it, it a new it release? It just came out at the time. Oh. It was a comic book movie. Comic book. Oh, Avengers? No. No, no, he sounded bad. This, this would have, it would have been, it would have been... Hold on, I can I can tell you. Was it like Daredevil or Oh dear God. Was Green it Dare- Lantern. It was Green Lantern, wasn't it? <laughs> it was not, but you're not far off. Ant Man. Hmm. No. That wasn't Ant-Man that long was ago. good. Well he, he said not far off, so that's when you can think of DC movie. Yes? No? Um He can't even remember. He's telling no, us it's, a story. It's, it's Marvel. It is a Marvel movie. Yeah. A bad Daredevil. I'm trying no. to think of the bad ones. <laughs> that, that was a bad one. Though, I was going to say Howard the Duck, but that came out in the 80s. <laughs> and All as right, bad as that so was, I still enjoyed it. It was 2015. 2015, bad Marvel movie. That really doesn't tell me much. So it may have been... Was it 2015? That seemed like it was a lot longer than that. Are you talking about the second Avengers movie? Dude, it was not 2015. When that it movie was... came out? Yes, it was. No, no, no. When I when when this when this. Okay, just place. tell us the movie, dude. Dude, okay. no dead air. 2005. Let's go. Oh, 2005. Oh, that, 2005. Gosh, I don't even remember what 2005 brought. Uh, the second Punisher movie? No. I have no idea. Fantastic Four. Oh, God. No, oh. I like that movie. No. Well, okay, yes, that's all right. You liked it, and that is okay. I I kind of liked the, the remake. I think I have to, of it. I think oh, I have to watch it again. No. I know. Maybe, maybe that's what I saw. I like the, the darker... No. Kind of. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, the, they were both shit. Okay. Now <laughs> I have to go watch it because I don't remember. Don't do. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Okay. It was the one with um, uh, Captain America as Human Torch. Yes. Yeah. I, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm. That's the first one. And at the time, it's like, okay, this will be cool. And then, no, it wasn't, because they had Michael Chiklis as a thing, which I think was great casting. But you know, I have a question for you. Wait, how do you say chicklets? Chicklets? Not chicklets. <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you saying? What is your guys' take on changing comic book characters' race? Oh, I don't. Care. I'm I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Hmm. You seem to have a problem with this. I don't see. I only no. Here's my thing. Like, if you want to change somebody, like say Spider Man, that's fine because his race has nothing to do with his character. Like, he's just a Brooklyn kid. So, either way, you know. And then they brought in, um, um, wow, I can I not think, Miles. Right. From the Ultimate Universe to be Well, that's the, a, a separate. Unquote. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're saying but, as far as just changing. Yeah, like, if you wanted Peter Parker character. to be black, that's fine. Like, there's nothing in his history as a comic, comic book character that says he has to be white. Like, Well, <laughs> depending on the time frame you're putting it in. Why? I mean, other than the fact that it was in the comics. Right. Well, but is there any, like, ethnicity things going on, like, in his stories that couldn't not, be? Not specifically, no. Yeah, so it's, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't really affect his... 
I was trying to think of like somebody that it would affect, but I was thinking of Gambit, and that doesn't make any sense because he's just Cajun, and it'd be more, it'd actually make more sense if he was black. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters. You know, honestly, I I don't see color until they make it an issue. That is the whitest thing I've ever heard. No, but seriously, <laughs> like. I don't even think about race when I'm talking or meeting someone unless they're like, oh, you're just, you know, whatever, because I'm Mexican or because I'm this or because I'm that. Speaking of which, how are you doing? (laughs) You know, (laughs) I've been okay. I've been okay. I've been working, luckily. Um, Still able to pay bills and not doing so much the kinky stuff, but still trying to keep as much of it in my life as I can. How? Um, well, cause I'll, I know your girlfriend's not here. Yes. And that is a very rough thing at this point, but we have a weekly, um, weekly check-in that we do on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. So like a zoom chat. Yeah. Like, uh, well, FaceTime. Yeah. And so we talk to each other, see how each other's weeks have been, um, maybe do a little bit of play, maybe watch a kid, maybe I say kids movie, but maybe watch a Disney movie. Cause you know, she's a little, mm-hmm. and you know, just things like that. Um, actually, she sent me a text right before we started uh, recording saying, letting me know that, hey, she put her lush in. I'm like, oh, I may do that. Let me play with her a little bit while we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> and then the listeners from everywhere will hear this the, the following Wednesday. <laughs> have, have fun, Bunner. <laughs> right. Push the button now. <laughs> oh, oh, let me make sure that I'm connected. Oh, wow. <laughs> How are you doing, Thief? I am. I'm doing okay. Um, yeah. I wanted to... Think awesome for checking in. Like he's actually checked in a few times, just on a like a personal like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? How's everything? But uh, but yeah, I've been, I've been good. I uh, I've been locked away. Yeah, I know. And it's it feels really weird and very refreshing. To like be even here? just driving over here, uh-huh. which is normally when I'm like. Fuck, all right, it's going to take 30 minutes to get there. If there's no fucking traffic, let me see how this goes. And this whole time, I'm just smiling ear to ear, like, the whole drive. Like, yay, (laughs) I get to see people. You did seem very excited when I asked you if you would do the podcast today. And then even more excited when when we discussed doing it live, because you've been isolated, we've been isolated. We feel comfortable with this isolation triangle here. Um, Yes, listeners, me, Lala, and Thiefer in a triangle. That's right. Don't tell Brad. <laughs> don't tell Rooster. <laughs> well, they don't listen. That's true. Um, Brad listens. Oh. Rooster sometimes listens. Well, hey, What's Brad, uh, you didn't hear any of that. You heard nothing. So maybe from triangle to pentagram? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Is there a star in it? <laughs> so here's what happens, though. That means that all of us are sharing Lala. I'm okay with that. Dang. All right. I'm okay with I that, hate- too. It's been like... <laughs> Too long, so... (laughs) And we're done recording for today. (laughs) Stay tuned for next week. I don't know if you guys saw Discord on the way over here. I was talking to Just a Dark Star. Oh, I saw that. (laughs) I said something about rubbing it in because she said that Animal Crossing was really fun on the Switch. Which I can't get a Switch, people. I can't get a Switch. So if you have a something... I need a Switch. Um... Not like a person switch. I need so no the negotiations. Nintendo. You just want to. You just want to get right down to it and pay money for it. I need a Nintendo it. Switch. Are right, you oh. were talking? You were talking about Dark Star. Um and and I she was teasing me and saying it's such a cute game and I was like don't rub it in and then she said wait 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 you, you want me to rub what and I said <laughs> everything please because <laughs> you know. I've just gotten cleared from the doctor. Did I tell you that last week? No. I just got cleared from the doctor. From my six-week surgery. Yep, I'm cleared. So now it's go time. So I can jump on trampolines. I can go hiking. I can ride an old horse. <laughs> she was telling me earlier, listeners, that she's been going on four-mile hikes like on a daily basis. No, not on a daily basis. Dang. But the day I got cleared, I went up to Hatchby, and I went on a four-mile hike. And it was great. Okay, well, now I just feel bad because I still have like a muscle that I pulled in my ass uh-huh. from the other day. <laughs> yeah. And I got it in bed, so I mean it's kind of kink related. It's not though, because there was nothing <laughs> sexual going on. I was just trying to put on the fucking fitted sheet. And like <laughs> I was waiting to see like what were you trying to put on? Was it a latex fitted no, sheet? Or? No, just a regular fucking fitted sheet. And you pulled a muscle in pulled your a muscle butt? in my ass. 
<laughs> yeah, so I've been hobbling around for a couple of days. Aww. So what you're saying is you're, you need your ass worked out. We understand. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and I damn sure can't do no four-mile hike. I don't think I could have done that anyway. I was a little concerned that I would feel it the next day, but man, I did not feel it. My, my knee hurt more than anything. I have a bad knee from work. Ooh. Well, if you ever have that fixed, that's a pretty quick and easy surgery for them to do. Well, they can't even figure out what is wrong What's with wrong it. What's wrong with it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, but that's okay. Um, so before this whole lockdown yes. thing happened, sorry mm-hmm. if no, I cut you off you didn't. just now. Um, I had just finalized negotiations to be flogged at our next get together. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's and very fun. So we were all excited. I made a playlist. Yeah. I got everything ready. Yeah. And then locked down. <sighs> yeah. And we're like, oh maybe next month. And then but next month got locked down. Don't and worry, just... eventually next year we'll be on, we'll no longer be on lockdown. Right. Two thousand twenty one is my year. Woohoo. Hey you guys, since we're talking about uh, lockdown and quarantine and all that. Did you know in France everything has a gender? Did you know that? Everything? Yeah, it's everything. either le or la. Okay. So they finally gave COVID nineteen a gender. Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> that was. Why do our diseases virus need have a gender? Why do our diseases need gender? Everything in French language needs a gender because they put a la or a le. Be- Wait, what about um, non-binary? I have no idea. Anyways, it's feminine. Thanks. Thanks, French people. <laughs> really? It's a ball. It's feminine. So it's they, an egg. They decided it's fem- <laughs> feminine, yeah. Okay. Yes, because, you know, a man cannot do all this horrible stuff <laughs> to everywhere, to everyone in the world. Honestly, I didn't read the whole article because it was boring as boring, <laughs> um, but I got the gist that it, it's feminine. Yeah, Le Fontaine, Monet, Zavie. Um. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, did you actually say anything or was it just No, that's like... just, just rubbish. <laughs> okay. I actually took French in high school, but I can't remember any of it. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> you took French in high school? I did. You had an option to take Spanish in high school? I did. And you went with French? Yep. Why? Um, Because I was taking Spanish. Wait, with... okay. First, where okay. did you go to high school? Or what, what area? Santa Barbara. Country? You're still in California. That still doesn't Santa Barbara on make the coast. sense to me. <sighs> Although I took like three years of Spanish and didn't learn shit, so I guess it doesn't matter. I was in um, a wealthier school. Oh, and fancy. Wait, hold on. Did, were you one of the girls that had to wear a uniform to school? No, <gasps> and I was not wealthy, but you, it though? just happened to be my district, huh? Nothing. Will I? <laughs> <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> yes, All I right. have, and I will. Perfect. I don't know. I'm so, getting old. The skirt might be a little longer. <laughs> why, why would you want to do that? Because I've gained weight on this stupid quarantine, and my legs are just ugly. So what if we do poodle, poodle, poodle skirts? Can I even say <gasps> that without... Poodle, 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 poodle skirts. skirts! We should have a 50s party. Hold on, real quick. That'd be fun. Hey, Thief? Yeah? So you, I, uh, Brad, and <laughs> Rooster need to get together and get her into a poodle skirt, and then she could just kind of show up for us, right? she just spin around between all of us. Oh, that works. Like the little squirt yeah. doing the... Ch- yeah, with the little petticoat yeah. and all the bobby socks and... <laughs> let's do it. It'll be fun. All right. I'm, I'm down for this. It'll be fun. Now we just need to get Rooster and Brad down for this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that might be a tall order. They won't care. Oh, they won't care. Cool. Oh, it couldn't be too tall then. Well, because I'll be wearing clothes. It's not like you guys are going to have access to all the all the girl stuff. Mm. Challenge well, I mean, accepted. <laughs> the first part of the dance, that's true, I guess. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. You, you're you wanting me to take them off as I spin around. You don't have to. I mean, and we can do it. Them oh, yeah, we can take them off for you. We just need, the, the shirt just needs one strand that we can grab. <laughs> yes. As you spin. Hey, when I was you're in. you like Weezer song. Yes, thank you. <laughs> when when I was in my um, more fit days, uh, back in, back Back a long time ago, I made a, I made a rip away costume of Arabian princess, and it was all silk. Were you Jasmine? No, I just was a <laughs> princess. But it was all like white raw silk and ribbon, and it was velcroed at my waist and at my <laughs> at my ankles. And I happened to walk by, um, I think it was Miss Cougar Boots' wheelchair, and it got caught. The opening got caught, and it ripped the bottoms completely off. 
Okay. I would have loved to have seen her reaction to that. Did she? Because she probably didn't know that it was rip away, right? No, she didn't know it was. So rip-away. it was just like all of a sudden her chair just ate your fucking pants. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> so at this point, listeners, I want to be going away for a little bit. I need to take care of something. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, please. The top was a rip away too. It just was like triangles, and then it had Velcro, and you just rip grab it from the front, right okay, between and- the breasts, and rip it off. All right, now, listeners, I no longer need to uh, walk away, but I do need to change your pants. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago when I was secure in my, and in my body. Off. Yeah, it got hot. <laughs> I mean, you do, so yes. <laughs> um, are you taking any trips lately or um, later? Every trip that I know of has been canceled. Okay, well, I want to go on a trip with you guys. Let's go. We're going to go to Oregon. And we're going to go to a special drive through Can you tell us about it, Awesome? Oh, so you want to go to that strip club drive through Yes! <laughs> oh. It's so cool. Did did you happen to look at the video? Absolutely Keith? not. Oh, my God. <laughs> I read the thing. It's I didn't so click cool. on it. It's so cool. you got to watch the video. Well, tell us about the video. Tell yes. the listeners about the video. Okay. In um, detail. S- <laughs> Slowly. Okay. <laughs> so these cars are driving through a tent. And on either side of the tent where the car drives through, there's go-go dancer stages with poles. And so these women are, are dressed go-go dancer. They're not completely nude, but like burlesque. Mm-hmm. So just like nipple. That's still good. What do you call these pasties. things? Pasties. and like Tassels. short shorts and boots and heels. And they're freaking hot. Ass just hanging out. And like, their butts are hanging oh out. And their God. breasts are just free. And... Um, they're crawling around the stage and they have these little grabbers that they can grab money from the windows for tips. Yes. Oh my God. It's so hot. And then usually there's, uh, someone in the front of the car is kind of lo- bringing them through. And one girl is just wearing like a thong and the pasties and she's doing the dance, the erotic dance and bringing the cars through. And it's, Oh my God, it was so hot. So hot. So what would it cost for like chips and dip and a nip slip? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but oh my god, this this bar or this this um, strip, club. strip club really switched it up so that they could provide financial support for their for dancers the because they're not um, eligible for the for unemployment. unemployment. Yeah, which is bullshit. It's ridiculous. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, I was going to say I have two things with that. I thought about. Okay. As the cars are driving through, is that place really, really well ventilated at that point? Well, it's open in the front and in the back. Right. So, but as the cars are driving through, that's um, a car still. I don't know, but they did show a convertible with two women sitting in the back, like up on the the back of the seat. Mm-hmm. And they're just taking pictures and video. And that was part of the owner's thing was like, we want people to still come through and have fun and be able to take videos yes. and make this a memorable event instead of a negative event right so it's a movie theater that encourages you to bring video cameras (laughs) strange i'm okay with that all right and then the other thing i was going to say is all right so you have them outside and all that what happens if the weather turns really bad they're in a tent like a big giant canopy right i get that but i'm saying like really gets windy and stuff and that just like whips the canopy away i guarantee well i mean unless they're gonna have a hurricane i guarantee they did it properly and had like the right tie downs and stuff the the mm-hmm. big cement block weights and stuff i'm sure okay. they did I, it I would correctly. hope but i don't see, i don't believe that is always everybody's first thought you know a 20 gallon mm-hmm. drum is right like you see in the movies mm-hmm. where they yeah. dispose bodies in and stuff mm-hmm. okay when i was like 19 working in the oil fields we had a cement block made from one of those okay that was our, our escape line. It was tied to it. It was way out there. So if anything happened, you were in the derrick, you would just grab that line and, and slide down to safety. Okay. You could reach up, grab it, and just pull down on it, and that whole cement block would come tumbling towards the rig. Yeah. <laughs> so. Right. But when you have one every eight feet? It's still not quite as... as if they're... How would you say? I guess they're not as secure as you would think. As okay. you would hope. Um, yeah. Don't forget that I work for the entertainment industry. So yeah. I hold on. What's that word? The entertainment industry. Entertainment. <laughs> Where the like the go girl dancer dancers. <laughs> dancers. <laughs> dancers. Yes. Can talk I love this. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna shit here now. Anyway. Uh, oh, well, I was gonna say also. 
Oh, and another thing. Hmm. You're going through and, you know, the music is playing, the girls are dancing. Mm -hmm. But just imagine you're going through with your windows up. And you have your, like, classical Bach playing. <laughs> like, mm, yes, those girls do look lovely there. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> what if you didn't know about it and you were just taking your family to the movies? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's not a movie theater, you guys. I didn't think it was it's a movie It's literally theater. a drive through tunnel. Oh, and on each I thought side it was a drive-in the theater. No. Like, and that was the I'm entrance. I'm so sorry. It's a drive through tunnel. Aww. It's a giant canopy with stages on through the tunnel. On, on either side, yeah. And they have like um, security fencing. Um, what do you call that? Guard, Guardrails? So that they can't rush the... Blockades? Or, yes. Uh, yes. Blockades. Right. Blockades. Um, so the car drives through the two blockades and then the stages are on the other side of that. And then the women can reach... Yeah. It's a really cool setup. Interesting. I'm sorry that I did not describe that right, but it's... It's really cool. And then they you can't accidentally drive in because there's girls out front in like shorty shorts and cute little halter tops with signs that say, you know. Wrong way. This is going to cost you money. Hold on, wait, wait, no, no. <laughs> no, no. So the girls on the entrance side, hey, come on in. The girls on the exit side, wrong hole. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. There is no wrong hole? Is uh, that what you're saying? All right, Lala. No. no. Well, for me, there's no wrong hole, but. All right. Hey. Hey, see? <laughs> high five. Hi, air five? Wait, why are oh, you... Oh, no, real high why five. Why are you doing that? I don't know. No, no wrong it... holes. <laughs> exactly. No wrong holes. No you wrong holes. are so dumb. <laughs> let's talk about something else. Something else. Yeah. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I want your view on AI technology. Like, My view on AI technology his, is... His view or both of our views? Both of your views, but let's start with Thief first since he's already thinking in his head. Well, here's what I'm because I just started watching uh, Year Million on Disney Plus. Year Million. Year Million. Never heard of it. And it's about like AI technology and how they could possibly take over because they'll be smarter than us and they can work harder and longer. And here's like all that whole Westworld stuff. It's, I was thinking it's Matrix. <laughs> Matrix too. It's a great fantasy. It'll never happen for the simple fact that we will not let it happen. We will, as human species, flush. Every technology we have down the fucking toilet and go back to the Stone Age before we let uh, like computers take over. Okay, without that attitude, let's talk about this though, um, <laughs> <laughs> because they do have robots already that can think for th basically think for themselves and ask questions and have small conversations and. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about with that. Um, but what happens when they get self-aware? Like, what if they get Skynet. so smart that they become self-aware? What then? Like, are they going to take over? Well... Are we going to be in danger? So, let's see. There, there are plenty of factual accounts of this happening. We have the Terminator series. <laughs> we have the Matrix series. Um, let's see. We have iRobot. <laughs> Terminator only works if there's time travel. Mm, yes and no. Oh, okay. I see your point. Yeah. Terminator works because Skynet gets built. Right. That had nothing to do with the, the, the time thing. They... The yeah. time thing came in later when they tried to go back and save it from and stop company. Skynet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, no. We need Skynet so bad. Wait, what? Why I'm do we need saying. Skynet? We just do. Anyway, so my <laughs> my thought process on AI and all that. AI is a great thing in the future, I'm sure. When we perfect it, when we are able to say, "Hey, yes, please robot, think for yourself." Hopefully, the was it Asimov's three laws? Yeah, that's not that's that's us. That has nothing to do with AI. As soon as you create an AI that can think for itself, those three laws go right out the fucking window. That's true. Now you do know of Asimov's three laws, Lala. No. All right. Uh, was so it? robots can do no do no harm in humans. Um, cannot defend themselves against a human. And if a if a human's in danger, they must sacrifice themselves. Basically, yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. It this series is pretty interesting because um, I started watching a little bit more this morning, and it was the second mm -hmm. episode, and they were talking about like nanobots. I'm totally going away from what you guys are talking no, about. No, no, you're, you're fine. Going, you're fine. Going. Um, nanobots being injected into your bloodstream that can go and genetically fix any issues that you're having. So if you have cancer, it'll fix that. It'll um, 
fix any bad genetic, like bad handshaking. If you have like a limp wrist, limp oh, hand. that's not like bad handshaking. <laughs> right? I was thinking of like tremors, and you're yeah. like, well, yeah, that too. But I'm just saying, like, even stupid genetic things, like if you have a lazy eye, or if you limp, or whatever, it'll fix it and make you perfect. We can fix it. What is perfect though? Like not ailing, like healthy, oh, okay. like 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 when you were thirty and you felt great and you were. I didn't feel great at thirty. <sighs> we can rebuild him. We can make him stronger, <laughs> faster. Anyway, I understand they're, what you're they're saying. They're even talking about like these little nano robots can um, extend your life. So oh, you God, know, no. Um, but you would be healthy, so you would enjoy your life. I don't have either. You ever seen the movie In Time? No. I think so. Uh, I want to say it was Justin Timberlake, the one where they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically the premise of the movie is everybody grows to the age of 25. I think so. They grow up to the age of 25, and then they have a timer that's always on their body. Mm -hmm. That timer doesn't start moving until they hit the age of 25. Once they hit 25, they have one year on the timer. For what? To To live. live. Why? Because that's just how that's, it's been set up. Yeah. And you, what happens is... You can't is, live further than that because you'll take away from the resources of the planet. And Yeah. But you can earn time. By working. You basically work to live. Uh. Yeah. And the rich, which he find The premise of the movie is he finds a rich guy. And richness isn't money. Richness is time. Rich mm-hmm. guy wants... He's like, I've been alive for hundreds of years. I'm done. And so he transfers all his time to Justin Timberlake. Oh. So now Justin Timberlake has hundreds of years worth of time. And he can do whatever he wants, basically. Yeah, he, it's he it's can, like he can like they it's like, like having a, a black credit card, the whatever the, black the card. one yeah, the black card. Yeah. Uh-huh. So he can just yeah, anything he wants. He's like, Oh, I need somebody assassinated. Yeah, I can afford that. Like here, I'll just have that happen. And so they were hunting him. Why I don't remember if it was just to get the time from him or because they just didn't want him to have it because he wasn't like a rich person. He uh, was no. It was he went from because he was in like the very very poor section where right. everybody has to work to live per day. Basically, he was Jack on the Titanic before he won the deck or the the hand that got him on the Titanic. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice pool. <laughs> uh, so he goes to the rich area and kind of shows them up at cards or something like that. And everyone's like, well, who are you? How did you get here? And then it's like, wait, that time's not yours. You stole that from somebody. right? And so then he's like, you know what? He sees how all the rich people are living. Mm-hmm. Now that he has the ability to. Like, this is bullshit. So he basically becomes a bank robber. <laughs> and starts like like looting all these time banks, basically. And it's like, here, now you have an extra five years. You have an extra ten years. Like that. And just giving it to the poor people? Yeah, yeah just Robin giving Hood it to status. Yeah. Robin Hood. I, I don't even remember where we came up with that, but that just it sparked a thought. I like that. I liked the movie myself. Everybody, everybody shit, shit on it, it but yeah. It was well, I wrote really it good. down on my list, so I'm going to look it up and see if I can watch it. You because it sounds interesting. I, I liked it. It's kind of like um, Divergence. You know, I tried to get into that one. I, I just kind of because um, they're kind of on a limited time thing too if i remember I, correctly i don't think the divergent series they were on a limited time but i don't remember oh. i only saw the first one i don't really remember what when you were talking about that that instantly popped in my head and i was like oh yeah they're but maybe i'm wrong it doesn't it doesn't matter life happens it's all right <sighs> anyway if if you're interested in ai and technology and like living forever and eternity and putting your brain on the internet look at the series Year one year, million. Nope, just year million. Oh, There's year no million. one. Mm-hmm. Year million on Disney Plus. Oh. It's really, it's and really also, interesting. Leave your comments about this summer. I'd love to read through people's thoughts on AI. Like mm-hmm. that'd be beautiful. It was. It was. Fin- it was okay. So I'm gonna be a spoiler. Um, the first ser- the first episode, like instantly. Um, this couple got in a car accident. Their adult daughter was in the car. She died. This robot came over, and they're like, we can download her brain. You oh. have five minutes. And they're like, do it, do it. And so then the next day She's appears fine. an AI replica of the daughter who has all the memories, all the knowledge, including knowledge of everything else. Oh, so they're not like rebuilding her. They're just rebuilding her memory. But they did rebuild her body somehow. There, It was an AI robot, but... It had all the emotions and you know, memories. and I've seen things like that in, in film. Like, hey, so you rebuilt this person. Is it still that person? And it was. And it was amazing. 
I like, saw something. Sorry. No, go. no, go for it. I saw something. It was like that. It was. I don't remember what it. What it. Maybe it was a Black Mirror episode. I don't know. It probably. Are you talking about the one with the uh, singer? No, it was a lady. Her husband died. Oh yes, that was like the second season. I want to say was it. And so they sent her. Like her, her friend was like, "You got to call this number," and she's like, "I miss my husband." So he's there. And then at first it started out it was just voice, so it was like over the phone she could talk to him and his voice would answer. Okay. And then like they kept the company kept asking her like for more information about her husband, give us this, give us yeah, that, give us his social media, give yeah. us his email access. Okay. All these things, so they had more and more and more to build up this personality that should have been her husband. Was was she having to give them money? Yeah, she had to pay for it. Oh. It wasn't like they were trying to jip her out of things. This was an actual business. Okay. Yeah. And so what ended up eventually happening was it got to the point where she wanted the physical him, the physical him. So they sent her a, a robot replica uh-huh. of the husband uh-huh. that she had to grow in the bathtub. Oh yeah, that's right. She had to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Cause it was like, it was, it was real organic. It wasn't like, you know, just rubber. So it was okay. like, it felt real. Wow. And yeah. then she had to teach him how to be, Human, him. how to be oh. not just human, but more like little nuances and stuff. And like okay. he'd be like, "I want to do this," and she'd be like, "No, you wouldn't." Oh, and he'd be like, "Oh, I wouldn't do that." Okay. Oh. And and at first she was like all into it, but after a while, it just got to the point where she's like, "You're not my husband." Aww. Yeah. Did and she would have make a him kid or something? Outside. Too? Yeah, there was a kid that like that's her, like like the husband's daughter. Like he had got like she had got pregnant right before he got. In his accident, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so she had gotten pregnant. He dies. And now, I think at the end of it, what was it? He like She kept him in the attic or something? I did, yeah, I didn't want to give away the end. Oh, but sorry. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, since you did, she, the daughter was like, she no longer wanted anything to do with it. The daughter she, or the, no, the, the mom? No, the mom didn't okay. want anything to do. So he just stayed in the attic. And by I don't mean live in the attic. He just stayed in the attic because he's not human. So he just stands there okay. for years at a time. Okay. And the daughter can go up and see him only once a year. On like Aww. her birthday or something like that. Yeah, it's um, and he's, yay for Black Mirror and always giving us the happy feel good ending. So, <laughs> which is weird because I haven't seen very many Black Mirror episodes. Like I need to watch them. I just can't because whenever I try to start at season one, episode one, I'm just I get halfway through it and I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and that first know. episode is tough to get through. Like, I that is the only one I watched, yeah. and I could not make myself watch another one. See, the, that's it was like, horrible. The, the, the rest, rest of them are bad, though. So bad. The rest of them are not that bad. That's but what that first says. one is so rough. And to get clearly, through. I've seen other episodes. If I remember that one, yes. so I don't. I don't know what the hell my deal is. I won't watch anymore because of that first one. It was so bad. So you should have seen San Junipero first. That would have. That would have pulled you in. Well, and after I watched the first one, people were like, "Oh, you never should have watched the first one. You should have skipped the first one and mo- you know just not even watched it." it wasn't yeah. And, and my thing is, I watched the first one. And I was like, you know what? Okay, that was bad. But if that's the worst they got, then it can only go up from there, right? That's true. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, if you every... don't know what's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Just like Twilight Zone, not every episode was awesome. No, well that's no. true. Most of them weren't awesome at all. Most In of them fact. were at least interesting. You know, we tried yeah. to watch the new, the new oh, Twilight I Zone. To watch those. Too. Boring. I haven't seen. We it. like watched half of an episode and we were just like I'm not into this this is not, not for you. enjoyment no, go back to the Outer Limits the Outer Limits was enjoyable yeah they were me. good and you know what I like Tales of the Crypt <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the Crypt are there new ones yet of that I or don't is know. that still not I know happening. they were talking about doing it on like TNT or something I don't remember what happened with it hmm. I, I think we talked about it on an older episode hey listeners go back to our uh, back <laughs> catalog <laughs> let, and let us know which episode that let was let Steve know what he needs to I don't know I've, I listen to older episodes because when I first started listening to the podcast, I started at like episode one. Congratulations. Wow. I, I haven't lying? even done that. Am I lying? I haven't even done that. I might be lying. <laughs> were there more Were there more hosts on that episode? Did the sound quality sound really shitty? No, I'm lying. I didn't. I started at the most recent episode and worked my way back. Liar, ah, liar, pants okay. on fire. So you haven't gone back to the very first no, episode. No, I've, I've, and now I haven't even listened to the last few episodes. Oh. Uh. Of this podcast or any other. Yeah. So it's not just this okay. one. Which is weird because I have nothing but fucking time. <laughs> but now I seem like I have no time to do anything. And people are like, what'd you do all day? Me? Oh, I watch Twitch streamers all day. Mm. Twitch streamers? Yeah. So uh, do you know what Twitch is? Streamers? I know who Twitch is. Who Twitch who is? Who Twitch is or what Twitch is? Who? Twitch. Who, wait, who is Twitch? The dancer on Ellen. 
Huh? Oh, as I've never really watched the Ellen Show, I have no idea. All no, right. Twitch is a streaming service uh, for that was built for gamers initially, mm-hmm. which is still a lot of gaming basically. Oh yeah, um, but mostly peop- probably yeah mostly. But people will get on there and um, like if I wanted to, I could get on my Xbox and start playing a game and stream live what I'm playing on Twitch. Um, with Bunner, she was doing a live Twitch stream of uh, Doom sixty four. I watched I watched her play that. Never so, heard of it. And they'll have like. Like the streamers now will have like a setup to where they have one camera on them and then also their gameplay broadcasting okay. so that you can see their reactions while they're playing oh. and they can talk to you because there's a chat. See, I'd enjoy that more yeah. than just watching the game. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I was going to say, um, one of the podcasts I listen to, uh, DNR podcast, they're a D&D podcast, but for their yearly, what do they call it, Theriathon, they get on Twitch and you can see them playing their D&D game because they use twitch with their uh virtual table tabletop nice yeah it's pretty cool so nice so nice so nice so nice, so nice. And there's also asmr streams on there you know which what? i don't get nope. the asmr thing. oh i fucking love it you're so weird which it's is why i like weird, you so much though it's so tingly and just amazing like i don't get anything sexual from it at all but like it's just very calming and do people get sexual feelings yeah, from it? yeah. Um, have you have you heard of humans they get sexual things out of everything. Everything. I guess. I guess. You know what I think is really sexual? Some people get off on having a fly inside their ear. <sighs> Ew. I don't know. I'm just making that I was going to say, do people get off on us? <laughs> I just had like an eon it. flux <laughs> thing in my oh, head. Oh, God. The eye. <laughs> yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. What were you going to say, Lala? I was going to say, you know what gets me like hot and bothered a sound? What's that? Howling. Howling? Howling. All right, so. Howling uh, at the moon. See? Howling at anything. Howling. We got to do this. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> 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 and now Lala needs to go with <laughs> I need to change my undies. Um, Take them off. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so on Facebook, there's a new group, um, and they are called Go Outside and Howl at 8 p.m. That's the name of the group? That's the name of the group. What the fuck? <laughs> and so all these people go out and howl at 8 p.m. Like in, just in Bakersfield? All over the world. So, how come I've never heard anybody howl at 8 p.m. then? I don't know. Probably because nobody's in the group. It's a newish group. I live in like a retirement community. It's like a newish group. It's all old people. But they, they don't know how to use that newfangled book hear, facers. Hear a lot of gunshots on New Year's Eve, though. Yeah. So, the howling is really helpful for a lot of people because it, because howling for wolves helps you stay connected. Okay. Helps oh, their, helps their pack stay that connected. It makes sense for wolves. Right, but we Our have family, a lot. We're, we're, we're supposed to be the wolf pack. We have a lot of um, we have a lot of pets that are wolves or foxes or that's true critters that howl. True. Um, and so this could be a great thing for our pets who are needing some release. They can oh. go outside and howl at eight p.m. All right, now I need to hear a fox's howl. All right, so we need Brad no- of Steel. Brad of Steel, uh, <laughs> Noms. Uh, what other pets do we have? We've had multiple pets on this Noms podcast. Is the Noms fox, is a though. panther. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Now this is the panther. What other dog-like pets do we have? Wait, hold on. Question. Oh, uh, what? Are we messing up by using their names and not their pet names right now? Oh. Oh. Uh, so it would be uh, mm. uh, Pharaoh and... Um, oh, what is Don's pet name? Hey, M- M- Maxi? Pax? No. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, noms. But I mean, it is, I'm right, right? Like, that's, you, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't be we, like. Yeah, we should be using their pet names okay. instead. <sighs> I just want a clarification for me. Like, I wasn't Moxie. trying to put anybody Moxie. on the spot. Moxie, I knew it was something I eat at the end. <laughs> so, sorry. Okay. I wasn't trying to put anybody, like, on the spot. I was just, for my own personal, like, I'm trying to remember things like that. Like, no, you're absolutely right. Yes. But as a generic term, all of our pets. Right. Yes. Because I don't know all of their names. I'm really sorry because I love you all. I think you're adorable. And I can't wait for the next. Um, I know. Anti pile. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it can be therapeutic for even us. Like if we have lost someone or we want to see someone, we can go outside and grieve and howl at the moon. My neighbor's going to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> um, Damn. <laughs> where do you wait? What sort of place were you live where your neighbors just shooting each other? Surrounded by NRA stickers on windows and stuff. So, oh, wow! Well. Yeah, if I go howling out in the middle of the street, I'm getting shot. Anyway, listeners, if you're interested, Facebook group, go outside and howl at the moon at 8 p.m. 
check it it's out. It's also the kind of neighborhood where they call the cops on people if they drive by and they're like, radio's too loud or they're going a little too fast, even though everybody on our street, I think their youngest kid is probably older than me. Okay. But they're like, you got to be careful with these children out here. Do they put out the... There are no fucking children. You're d- senile and you can't remember shit. Do they put out <laughs> the neon green um, child plane in the no. street? No. Wow. <laughs> that would be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> they, they put up a sign with like a shotgun and a do not speed thing. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> All I'm thinking right now is you get a recording of howling and put it out somewhere in the street <laughs> and time it. To go off. At 8 o'clock. <laughs> While I'm just hunkered randomly. down. Yes. <laughs> All right. Since we're talking about howling, let's let's move on to um, something I saw that happened in um, Scotland. Uh, a gentleman was walking his dog at 11 o'clock in the morning in the pouring rain. The problem was that this dog was a woman wearing a dog mask, fully clothed. But at 11 a.m. Why is that a problem? I'm, that's all, um, Where's the problem here? On a leash. In public. That's okay. like, well, if, no, no. If it's consensual for them, though, like, what is it? Well, uh, the thing is, you're okay. bringing in everybody else into That's your kitchen. You're, you're, you're making people see it. Like kids you're and making, everything. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just questionable behavior, but <laughs> at the same time, that, I wish we could live in that world where we can just go. They got to learn sometime, right? <laughs> well, I agree. What better way to learn than when you're walking down the street with your dad and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the, thing, the thing is that the problem is that some of the comments on this article that I read were like, that's abuse. He should have been arrested. Um, Actually, because there's if it wasn't no... consensual, consensual, then absolutely. Well, that's what they were saying. She's too afraid to speak up. She can't consent because he's, you know, being abusive or she's afraid. It's just stupid because they don't have the knowledge. They don't understand. And that's why I think it's a bad thing is because people are going to judge on what they think they know. They also may not be wrong. (laughs) I know, but I'm saying we don't know either. Well, that's true. That's true. So that actually reminds me of something from years ago. I want to say I was in high school still when I Hmm. saw this. I think it was on Jerry Springer. Jerry, Jerry. Oh, sorry. I thought it was Steve. No. Steve, Didn't everybody yell Steve for Steve? Steve was later. That Steve was, was his, much later. Steve that was, was his body, or yeah, not his bodyguard. Yeah, his, his bald, his security, bald guy. security guy. Yeah, that was a security guy, but everybody was screaming for Jerry whenever yeah. the show starts and whenever he's bringing out guests, things like that. And they want him to fight. Yeah. Uh, but no, the Stupid. thing I was bringing up is I remember him bringing on a woman that came on. She was a pro dom, I want to say, mm-hmm. and she would walk some of her clients. Okay. And she brought they, so Jerry brought on the woman, and then brought on one of the guys who had agreed to come on. He's like, so how's it feel when she's like walking you out in the park? It's like feels great. So she's like, it would feel great. But that's the thing. At that time, when I was watching it way back when, I had no, no um, what's wrong with her experience knowledge. Close, a little, close, little bit but, of both. Yeah, that's not the word I was looking for. But anyway, yeah, those. <laughs> I, I had no, I had exposure, no, no point, experience, uh, no point of concept for it. Okay. You know, I had never heard of anything like that. Okay. So now I now know that that's a thing in the world that happens. Mm-hmm. Now that I was like going into it, I was a kid. I was like, ha, that's funny. That guy's dumb. But as I got older and you know, found out about this whole world. It's a whole new world. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. Um, that was all I knew, so. I know lots more. But <laughs> I'm not going to ruin it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, high five. I was the person that talked shit about tentacle porn until I discovered tentacle porn. And now you have your own tentacles. Fuck. Yeah, I wish. I don't have <laughs> oh. money for it, but I would. Bad dragon? Yeah, very much so. Tentacle porn is pretty hot. Actually, it is. Why is it though? I don't like, know. Oh, hold on, God. real quick. If you go, if you do one day go way back to like our first season, I want to say somewhere within the first ten episodes, I remember that Zealus actually found a story about a guy in Japan making a suit with tentacles, so that were like mm. robotically controlled. Oh wow! <coughs> AI. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Not quite AI. Not, I'm going to do what I want. Come here. <laughs> not quite Doc Ock status. <laughs> oh, okay. 
But yeah, it's like he was trying to build that. I wish I don't you know we we talked about it. I have no idea what happened with that. It probably fell by the wayside like many inventions. Mm. Or it's in mass production and used in some In Bad Dragon. Only in Japan. Some <laughs> dark little alleyway places <laughs> where you pay time. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Speaking of Japan, I also ran across an article about some guy that was um um adventuring and looking at old abandoned buildings and in japan he found this love motel because in japan families live generational so if you need some private time you need to get out and go do the private time anyway it was all about like the themed was ufos and disney and it was but it was a bdsm hotel with all the equipment the dungeons um a ufo bed that had tracks that would fly across the room like crazy stuff there were pictures it was a horrible article so i didn't post it but i want to go there right you know i'm sure you and many other people want to go everywhere right now i do hey you know what you can Hmm. go to arizona what's in arizona they open back up yeah everything everything Everything. everything's open wait masks or no masks i don't just go out and do what you do but with a mask no no i think it's it's recommended but not required yeah it's recommended it's not required so yeah go out to arizona and um Spread things. No, spread, Don't I'm go. sorry. Spread the joy. Stay home. Spread joy. Stay is what I'm home saying. if you can. Well, it's like I posted on Facebook the other day. Like, yes, I understand that some restaurants are opening and they're doing the plexiglass separators and they're doing the six to eight feet away. They are. I didn't. See, I of, didn't even know about that. Well, not not here in Bakersfield, oh. but in other areas because okay. it's by county. The gov or governor has the. Yeah, it should by, be by county. It's, it's by county. It's by whatever. Who cares? The fact is, yay, I'm glad they're doing that. And for the people that feel safe enough to go do that, good for you. I'm not ready. I'm, I'm wondering not. how I'm going to feel after today. Because I've been stuck at home. I've been the person, one of the people saying, we don't need to open it up. Like, let's keep this on the you know lid on it while we learn more about what the fuck the virus is doing to people. Because we still don't know what all it's doing to people. Right. And it's not just about the death itself. But... At the same time, I'm here right now. You are. I am outside of my home. I am in a place where I'm. I have no, like, I don't have to be here. This isn't like a, my job. So, who the fuck am I to say that somebody else should stay home now if I'm not going to do it? And it's like I'm, I'm going to. Like, this isn't my breaking out thing. I'm not going to go running around town now. Right. I'm going home after this, and I'm going to stay home for the foreseeable future that I know of. Right. Especially if they open this motherfucker back up. I'm damn sure staying home for another two weeks. So, sadly, I got asked to come back to work. And I start Friday. How do you feel? I'm, not, I'm, I'm, uh, um, one, I'm very excited because I miss my work. I miss my people. I miss the patients. I miss... You miss human interaction. I miss human interaction because I'm very social. Um, but two, I freaking make a lot of money on unemployment right now. And my pay is going to be three days. And is unemployment going to pick up that difference? Are they going to give me the $600 extra still? I'm, Probably not. I'm going to be financially in the dump. And because you're going back to work. Yeah. So I'm not excited about that. I'm really worried about that because I can't afford to pay my mortgage on three days a week. Wait, so, so that's all you're going to be going back for in- until the foreseeable future. Three days yes. a week, possibly all day, possibly half day. I don't even know. Oh, wow. Um, and well, if and if I say no, if they offer me the job and I say no, and unemployment finds out. You lose unemployment. I lose unemployment yeah. because I had that opportunity to go back to work. Um, so, <laughs> As somebody ha- who has been on unemployment in the past more than once, um, they do have what's called partial unemployment. So you may want to see about if you can apply for that. Um, I will definitely do that because I think it's if you're working under a certain amount of hours per week, you still you still um, are eligible for some for some of it. But and still, it's it's be- some is better than none. Yeah, and like, do you 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 fill out the unemployment forms? I'm sure mm-hmm. online or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way you're going to find out. Right. Is by doing that because you're not going to call and get a hold of anybody. Oh, right I now. know, I know. Oh dear this, God, I've seen the numbers of people. Yeah. Trying it's to crazy. get a hold. Yeah. 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 So that's, um, and I also like just being with like 
there's going to be patients that I don't know, like strangers coming in the office. Mm -hmm. And yes, they have, you know, all the sterilization protocol. You're going to have people coming into the office that do not believe in masks and shit like that. I know. I'm not sick. I don't feel sick. So why do I have to do that? I know. It's so in that aspect too, I'm a little scared, but I'm ready for this thing to be over at the same time. Like everybody's ready for it to be over. Yeah. The yeah. problem is that just because you're ready for something doesn't mean that it's the time for That's it. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have to be careful because, like, my, my sister's going through cancer. So I I have my little isolation triangle, which is now more like a rectangle or like a, what do you call it? Pentagram. We got a pentagram going. We got remember? a pentagram. <laughs> oh, you meant your. Um, my okay, own. Yeah. Triangle. My own. It's gotten a little bigger because it was just my sister to Hatchby and home. Okay. So you had, so you had a line. Right. And now it's. No, oh, no, sorry, you had a triangle. And now I'm here. So you have a square. And then now I'm going to have work. So that's yeah. pentagram. So, so where <laughs> where do I, like, at what point do I be like, I'm not safe enough to see my sister anymore? I think once I go back to work, I'm not safe enough to go see my sister anymore. I would Probably. say that because at work, that's, a, that's one of those spots where you can't say who's going to come there. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And you can't not touch things. Well, and I deal with the mouth. Oh. Right. So I do wear gloves because saliva is gross. I'm okay with gloves. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, so hold on, hold on. You just said the saliva is gross, right? It is. So you don't make out with... Uh... A stranger's saliva. She's... No, no, no. I, I don't. Oh, really? No. Bodily fluids like that are just... Well, okay. Everybody kisses different. So my husband will just like kiss me passionately. We'll swap tongues, whatever. Uh, not Heckler or Brad. Nope. It's just kiss. Just that. There's no passion at all in that. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's weird. Hmm. I, sorry, Brad. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know. Just some people are different. And that's yeah, okay. no, it's not bad. It's I'm just, I'm just interesting to me. I, I take what I can get. <laughs> Doesn't sound Fra- like it. How to phrasing? No, no. I mean, in the situation I'm in in my relationship, being able to go outside of that relationship to get what I need in the intimate category, I take what I can get. Oh, with well, that's all of us, isn't it? Or um, supposed to be? Are you talking about right now or just in general? Because there's a right now. I don't get anything. Okay, so right now, nothing, but in general, is you take what you can get. In general, I have permission to be with this other person. Okay. And if that person can only give me, and is only comfortable giving me what I'm getting, I'm going to take it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to question it. I'm not so going to complain about it. Always get what you want. Yeah, but there <laughs> but are... If you try sometimes. There are other things that I just want. just might find. <laughs> you get, get what, what you, you need. need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, let's talk about something else. All right. Um, let's see. Did we talk about it? No, we didn't talk about it or anything. We have a thing. What thing? A thing that I saw on Thursday. What'd you see? So on Thursday, I attended a dollification uh, Zoom class. What? What? Hold on, back up. What is it? What is it? A dollification? Dollification. 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 Not not a dollification. Just dollification. Okay. So dolls scare me. Dolls? Yes. I do not like, like Barbie? dolls. Barbies don't scare me, but like baby dolls. Okay. So what? What is this? Is this so, dollification? Like, what so, is this? So dollification. So you, Lala. Mm-hmm. You would. Okay. Should have been me. What huh? was that? Nothing. Oh, oh. Should have been you. Should've okay. Been you want to be? You, do thief. Do thief. thief. You want to be my doll? <laughs> yes. Do it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now listen. So thief, what you're gonna do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep that voice up. <laughs> All right. No, it's basically a doll. You would be a human doll. You would be someone. There are multiple types of dolls. You have your uh, rag dolls, your posable dolls. Um, Oh, God, I can't remember some of the other terms. But basically, it's I set you up. If you're a posable doll, I move you. I move your hands. I I move you and you put you in a position that I want you to be in. Dress you how I want you to be. Get you dolled up or you doll yourself up, you know how i specify and now you are my doll i take you i show you off hey this is my doll this is my doll thief 
isn't. I'm okay with all of this. My so dolly. Far. My my dolly. My doll thief. But oh. yes, or dolly. Either way, like here's my dolly. Okay, when you were a young girl, did yeah. you have dolls? No. Okay, never mind. I had stuffies. Okay, let let's do it this way. See, when I you had dolls, yes. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was saying, I was gonna say, did you have action figures? <laughs> I had GI Joes. All right, so GI Joes. little ones. Yes, GI Joes are, for all intents and purposes, they are still a doll. They don't have as many things that you can do with them. Excuse you? Hold on. We it, fought battles, motherfucker. Do you brush their hair? <laughs> no. Do you put makeup on them? I put war paint on some of them. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Do you paint half of their face blue? <laughs> it was blue, actually, because those are the only color markers we had. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of like you do all these things, and um, the presenter, uh, and dear God, I'm very upset myself for not looking up the name before we started talking because I can't remember off the top of my head, um, showed us different videos of types of dollification. Um, if any of you listeners have ever seen the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, yep, it's got Dick Van, uh, Dick Van Dyke, and I cannot remember the female lead's name, but there's a whole scene in that movie where they infiltrate a place and they're trying to find their children. But to do so, they have to pretend to be living dolls. Um, the woman, she is on a um, music box on a music box and she's spinning and singing. But as she's doing it, she's moving in very stilted movements like a uh, music box doll would would move. And Dick Van Dyke is a um, toy soldier. He, no, he's a rag doll. Was he a rag doll? He was a rag doll. Wasn't there a toy soldier? Uh, I don't that was a different movie with the kids. Oh, yeah. Um, but still. <laughs> He can move. He he's very fluid with his movements because he's a ragdoll. He doesn't have that. Um, he doesn't have those limitations of only being able to move at the joints oh, and things like okay. that. So it's like that. There's actually before we leave today, remind me. I have a video to show both of you. It's really fucking cool. It was uh like so you think you can dance or America's Got Talent something like that. This couple did a fool's routine as um, uh, marionettes. 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 I think I saw that. Yes. Very cool. Yes. So that would be another form of a dialification. Okay. Ooh, he showed. I a, really like that. Yeah. He showed another video, which I wasn't a really big fan of, but I understand what he was going for. Um, it was one of those crime shows. And in it, the guy, his, his daughter had died. Um, like at the beginning of the show. Mm-hmm. And he, and she was an organ donor. So before he could get to, before he could get to her, you know, the doctors already, you know, taking out what they needed to save other people. So the premise of that, of that episode was he was going to these people, stealing back her parts. And Whoa. he put everything back in his daughter and then set up this whole thing to make her like a marionette because she was a dancer. And she was doing this really cool show that she was that he was supposed to be, at, but he couldn't make it. And now that he because he missed that, he's like, I'm going to see my daughter dance. And so. He made this whole pulley system so he could have his daughter dance as a marionette. How do you get the body back? It's, a, it's, a, t- the... it's a TV show. Okay. It's well, a... the body could have been buried. Yeah, the body the body could have been buried, but uh, okay. <laughs> but still, that that was another form was like marionette dancing, That's things like that. Creepy. Maybe could... she was donated to science, so he had to break into like some medical school somewhere and steal his daughter. I'm back. sure it only worked if he wore underwear on his head. <laughs> <laughs> But no, what I was getting at That's though, a very cool story though. I love that whole idea. Like that just sparks all kinds of thoughts. Why did he have to steal the body parts back though? I it was his daughter. Yeah, he, know, didn't, but... he didn't have to, but he, again, yeah. television. Okay. That's so awesome though. Yeah. Like that like but, he just goes and like my uh, this thirteen year old kid can finally see for the first time because she got eyes donated to her from this person and he's like No nope. fuck you, give me my daughter's eyes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, it's pretty much like Did that. he kill them? I don't know. I've never I didn't see the actual episode. Oh, oh, oh. They were just talking about like that he was just setting up this is what Oh oh I'm for sorry. Them. I thought it was a uh, no, he, I got he, so entranced in it I was like, <laughs> tell us more right? yeah. What was his name? <laughs> Uh, what dance did the daughter do? Was it the plum fairy is dance? Is he still alive? Can I write to him in prison? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Television show. Television oh, shit. Show. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I was just kidding anyway. You <laughs> two scare me right now. <laughs> <coughs> but, but, uh, but either way, it's like there are all these different types of being a doll. Now, some of them, there was a woman that did a music video. I want to say 
she's French, but she was kind of like a robotic doll. You would see she would get in her doll in her doll makeup and all that, but she would have like metal things like covering parts of her to show that she's not a full doll. She's just part doll, and but she still moves like that. I right. think highly yeah. suspect in their uh, "I Am Human" video have something like that too, where it starts out as a doll and becomes a person throughout, or maybe it's just is yeah. it a is it kink based, or is there just a kink aspect to it that doesn't necessarily have to go with it? kink based? I believe. Okay. Right. So what 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 is the draw? The draw is is so. Um, after, cause me and Butter both watched it. Okay. And I want to say that night or the next day, um, she texted me like, Hey, your Butter bot, cause she wants to be a, a, a bot uh-huh. is ready. Uh, please instruct me on what to do. Aww. Okay. And, and so it's like that. So that is my doll. That's my robot doll. My robot that I can control to do what I want with. Uh, push the button, push the button, push the button. <laughs> I, for some reason, it wasn't letting me sign in. Oh, dang, not it. Um, but my mind keeps going so dark. <laughs> well, like, where does Do your tell. mind go? Because I love my, your my mind. My mind goes to like non consent, like CNC consen- is the thing. Yeah, but like what, for for the listeners, CNC is consensual, non consent. Right, right, right. Which I love. That so is like, my thing. But like with a doll, it's where there's no there's no feedback either. So it's that's like a drop off, not you know like a negative. Mm-hmm. So, but but it could also be a positive if that was like the whole setup and I don't know it just oh real quick did you, either do you even remember the movie AI with um uh, Haley Joel Osment or yes. whatever but vaguely yeah there is an entire uh, section of that movie where um he goes to this he finds this other uh, robot that is a pleasure robot and so that's kind of like that location right there. Is hey, I am paying for this doll to do this thing. Didn't see it. Now we're coming all the way back around because if we have AI sex robots, right. mine better not be completely consensual all the time. Okay, so like fucking fight me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, see that would be see. I know where your brain is going as far as the CNC, but you wouldn't get that fight. You would just right. have, no, it, like, it, it would totally be like different. a living. That would be totally different. Like one of those living things. sex dolls, right? Right. The, yeah. They're so realistic that the they're so. Obs- but see, I think the the sex dolls isn't quite there because that's trying to be realistic, whereas like dollification, you're play trying to would make be, them less realistic. Yeah, so it would be a little more fantasy than just a sex doll. But you wouldn't get the fight. I wouldn't want the fight for that. Oh. Like, it, it, you're two different playing fields. We're two different oh. sports. <laughs> <laughs> baseball season's over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did baseball season start? I don't oh, know. Oh, gosh. Um, I could... Ay, ay, ay. Now my now I'm feeling a little tingly. Like, right? Excited, There's so many like, different things that... And but plus, it's I love... I, that, well, that and that's what? the part that I love yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the creepiness. It's like, so creepy. Yeah, that's like... All right, that's like me and Thief decide to take you, Lala. We doll you up how we want you to look. Uh-huh. We put you in an outfit that we want you to be in, uh-huh. and we pose you somewhere, and we invite people over. It's like, oh, yeah, that's my doll over there. And, you know, the doll, you know, yeah, go take a picture with the doll. You can go touch the doll. You can move the doll around. She's completely posable. Do what you want. There are some of them, some of the ones that he was talking about, that um, they're like full doll outfits, like uh, latex outfits that people wear. Mm. And some of them are full outfits some of them are just partial mm-hmm. and they all have um like condoms built in to it where because there's some people that just don't trust you know fluids sure right so they have these full things like okay yeah you can use my doll you know because there's condoms built in to this doll so go for it do what you want that's crazy listeners they're both looking at me like i'm crazy now. <laughs> no no i'm 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 with you i'm i'm there i, like, I we just gotta find her a latex suit i i <laughs> Lala, you're not allergic to latex uh, are you no excellent just soy but i what i was thinking and why i wasn't really looking at you i was just kind of staring off into space was i was thinking of like lala in that situation even though you painted it just as you know to to make a point but yeah if in like knowing 
a little bit about her enough to know that if we told people you can touch her, you can play with her, you can do anything you want. Yeah. There would be a limit on that. Yes. For her personally, which would have been, you know, negotiated negotiated ahead of time. But yeah. So that would be something else you'd have to take into consideration too, is like who you're allowing to do. Right. Right. And it's like, it's like, okay, it's like any other sort of kink that we do. If I have a submissive that I am okay with quote unquote loaning out, and we've talked about that and they enjoy it as well. Yes, I will loan you my submissive, but here are the rules that you have to follow. Right. In regards to that. Right. Be the same thing with the dog. Like, hey, yeah, you can do this to my dog, but here are the list of things that you cannot do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That would be so fun. That would be really if, cool, too, if, because all I would hear is awesome, like in the background. Don't break your toys. <laughs> <laughs> don't break my toys. Right. Is yes. It? Don't break my toys. Don't break my toys. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I would. I don't know how I would handle that. It would be really cool. It would be really hard because I talk a lot. And that's the thing. Yeah. You can be. At, you. Can, oh, that was one of the really cool things I saw. Um, he pulled out. Uh, you know how you have the toys with the little pull string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like you could, he was saying that it, you could have a script of things that you can yes. say. Yes. And then yes. you, and somebody it's, pulls yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes, is one of them. <laughs> yes, you can definitely do that. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. You can do it. <laughs> but the thing is, you can only do it as long as the string is going. And then once the string stops, you either stop or you just completely cut out altogether. Mm-hmm. So that that was one of the things I was like, oh, that'd be really cool. Just like, all right, here's I your list that. of things that you can see, say, memorize them. Uh-huh. And then as things start up, pull the string and just let you go. I love that. We need to make the string that you pull uh-huh. have little tasers on the back of it that are right in the base of like the spine. So that it gives her a little zap. I'm out. The time's <laughs> out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> She's, you, ha- you have to. All right. Well, we're going to find another doll. But- <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn it! Damn my my electricity! It doesn't have freaking to be out. painful. It could be tingly. It could be like uh, it's electrical. A- it can't. A- anything's oh, electrical. Okay. She's not an electrical doll. She's one of those old um the old kind. Yeah, the old kinds. So literally, are just like I turn through. butter. Right. <laughs> Springs and gears, not yeah, not okay. not electrical. Not electrical. Okay. Sorry, mm. it's just one of those. No things. brushless motors on that one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I, that meant. I am I'm very happy that you both took to that dollification thing so much. That's awesome. Like I and, and even as like from a photography aspect, I, I oh yeah, at it, like yeah, oh. there could be some awesome shit there. I wish I was younger and prettier and cuter. Hold on, hold on, I, thief. I'd totally be your little doll model. What I'm just saying. You hold on, okay, thief. She is beautiful. Yes, absolutely. I mean, do you see a problem with her? No. Listen, In fact, I we would are love, talking to you right now. I would love to shoot her and wait, wait. show her. <laughs> hold on. Hold what on. We see. You have to qualify. Shoot her. Photography wise. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't have to be kink based. It doesn't have to be anything nude or implied or any of that bullshit. Yeah. It could simply be a regular photo shoot uh, and listen. still show her like what we see. Listen. I've, I've seen pictures of her where she looks fucking amazing. Yeah. Yes. But for some reason, she thinks she doesn't have it. I have the ability to have a good photo taken. Like, it may take 500 photos to get that one that is just like, holy hell, that's me. I look hot. I look great. That's 500 for you to see that. Yes. Right. There are fi- you say there's one out of 500. Yes. We say there's 500 out of 500. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you guys you guys have known me for a long time, and, and you you don't see the, the flaws, I guess. I don't know. I mean, technically, if we know somebody long enough, we see their flaws, right? Right. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay, let's talk about something else. <laughs> do we have anything else to talk I about? I do think that would be such a fun photo shoot, though, to be a, a doll. Yeah. And just, like, a little... Oh, God, I love that idea. Can mm. I just wear a doll mask? No. <gasps> oh, well... That'd be... Mm, hold on. So, no. well, yes, you can. They do have those. Mm-hmm. But for me, personally, the mask kind of look kind of creepy. Yeah. But it's... <laughs> Like I'm like I'm not I'm not for that one, but you know yeah, it's for people that not really. they're into it. That's more purge than. I was just thinking because my face is older and I don't look like a doll. 
I'd have to do a hell of a lot of like airbrushy makeup, I think. Anyway, so she was saying that she's a doll. Yes. Right. Okay, we're we're we like her as a doll. Right it would up. be so fun. I would love that. Okay. I do. I, I think that would be awesome. All right. That'd so, be so fun. See, here's what we need to do. Um, whenever <laughs> all of this is over with mm-hmm. and we can get her a nice few dolly outfits. 2023, 2024. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, oh, good. When I'm like 55. <laughs> you shush it. Sorry, 65. <laughs> you shush it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get her all dialed up. We're going to bring you in to make, to do the photo shoot. And then it's like, okay, listeners, you all wanted it. Here are your uh, Micro Mantra La La Doll posters. Uh, not posters, calendars. <laughs> oh, my Ooh. God. A doll for each month. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah, 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 <laughs> doll costumes. Oh, I love costumes. Okay, she's writing this down, listeners. Yes, she's wanting it. <laughs> doll anniversary. Uh, doll anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, annual. We should have a doll, doll party. That could be a fun theme. Everybody, uh, bring your dolls. For- the cute are you, people. Are you, are you talking well, about bringing actual dolls, or are you talking about making people dolls? Like, like it could be both. Those, could be either or. That's like, true. Those who want to come as a doll, and those who want to come and learn how to make your partner a doll. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, because um, yeah. this class it was hosted from um, one of the clubs up in San Fran, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, did they have some actual people there as well dressed up as dolls? And... Uh, they did not because of, you know, social distancing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But okay. the presenter said that normally when he teaches the class, he does have someone there to doll up. Okay. To show off. Uh, so he mostly showed off, you know, the implements that he has and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there are like lots of masks, different outfits. Implements? That's... Masks. Um, you said you didn't like the masks. Right. No, I'm just saying the different things, like the masks, the full outfits to make you look more like a doll. Okay. More plastic than human oh. sort of thing. Oh, 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 It's so like, like a, a song. Is that from a song? There is a song like that. More plastic than human? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's more plastic than human, but it's something along those lines. Hmm. More human than human? Yeah. I believe that's <laughs> Rob Zombie? Don't know. White Zombie? Don't I, know. I forget who does. One of those? Some zombies. We'll Listeners figure it out at some help. point. <laughs> I like zombies. No, zombies are done. <laughs> no, no, no. Think of this. Zombie Lala. Yeah. Zombie hey, Fied Lala. I've actually posted some photos I've on my set of Zombie Lala. Seen so many zombies. I'm over zombies. I'm a good zombie. I eat brains. You're good at anything. Oh, that well, that's not true, but thank you. That's very sweet of you. I've never seen you not good at something. Um whether it's dressing up, putting on parties, decorating, cooking. Do you see my new rock art that I've been doing lately? On fe- I mean, on Facebook? I want to say yes, but I'm lying if I could actually think of one right like now. Like the little cute narwhal. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did see those. It's really sad, though, because I can copy other people's art. I just can't come up with it on my own in my head. Isn't that what artists do? I don't know. Nobody, cre- well, very few create their own yeah. art. They they just copy. don't pull an image out of their head and, and paint it? I th- Some do, but not a lot. Like most oh. painters and stuff. Like the cityscapes and the... I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Okay. All right. Well, I've been painting a lot lately. And oh. I think they're pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. So. Yeah. Do you guys have face masks? Have you bought and purchased your own face mask, personal? I did buy one um, from um, actually some kinksters in, in Fresno. You want to shout them out? Are they making them available for people? Or? I don't know if she's making them anymore. Oh, okay. Because I know I got some from, well, I got one so far from Firebird Leather uh-huh. out of LA. And she makes some every week, new ones, mm-hmm. and then puts them up on Tuesday afternoons, I think, on her website. Uh-huh. And uh, there's some really cool ones. Like there's some, you know, basic ones that are... 10 or 15 bucks, I think. And then there's more extravagant ones. There's kitty ones. There's puppy ones. There's, hmm. yeah, all kinds of them. Um, she's got some that have come with the ears and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Mine actually has kitty cats on it. 
Oh. It's black and white and it has black kitty cats. But... Mine has a single cat. I am the cowardly lion. I know. Well, that is the best <laughs> one. Um, I, I'm looking for a sewing machine. I, um, mine died. Mine is like the tension. I can't figure it out. I could take it to a shop, but why? I want to buy a new one. I don't and... know if you can take it to a shop right now. <laughs> um, I think you can. I think. Anyway, regardless, it doesn't matter. If you could find a shop and you like message them, like that's what I've been telling everybody. They're like, everything's closed. I'm like, message them Mm -hmm. on fucking Facebook and be like, hey, I need this. What can you do? I guarantee the owner will be like, dude, I'll fucking meet you at the door. Exactly. Yeah. Like. So, but just I went to um, Joanne's the other day because they have curbside pickup. Okay. And I caught the little dude coming out, dropping off, and I and I called him over to my car. I was wearing my mask and everything. Did you call him little dude? No. <laughs> oh. Hey, little no. dude. Little dude. Get over here. Over here. But he was wearing a mask. I was wearing a mask. He stayed six feet away from my car. And I was like, hey, I really, really want to buy a sewing machine. Is there any way that I can just come in and, and look? I know I want a brother. I know, you know, I kind of have an idea. I just don't know what you have in there. And he's like, I'm so sorry. We've been sold out for four weeks. We have no sewing Holy machines. Shit. And I'm like... Oh my gosh. So I can't get a freaking Nintendo Switch. Can't get a freaking sewing machine. But when this is over, mm-hmm. you'll be able to find a sewing machine for dirt fucking cheap that's only been used three times because the motherfucker bought it to make masks and realized they don't know what they're doing or how to do it and didn't want to learn. <laughs> so that's true. Yep. You're going to be in the money. I know, but I need it now. I want it now. Yeah, that's true. But you want that's it a- now? I want it meow. Now. <laughs> yeah. Um, are there any other mask makers that you want to shout out? I'll tell you the one that I got it from was Anne's Tanya on Facebook. Oh. She's on Facebook. I got a lot of mine from Ludwig, Ludwig Van Bacon Art, but there's a, there's a <laughs> caveat Ludwig to Van that. Bacon. They are amazingly awesome artistically. Yeah. They're shit masks. So, oh. and because he doesn't make them, he sends his artwork to like one of these companies that prints masks. And so they, they make them. Which, I mean, it's decent, like the artwork is decently in the material. So it's not like just pasted on or whatever. But but the, the masks are very thin. Mm. You know, they, like when you breathe out and breathe in, they breathe in too. So mm-hmm. you're like, oh, fuck, don't choke me. But maybe you're into that. So, <laughs> and they also take a really long time to come. They're like three or four weeks to oh, get one right Oh, it's not just like, so, like seven minutes and no, they're, they're, yeah. they're good. But like... Uh, <laughs> But like Firebird Leather, she she, she won't <laughs> post them for sale until she has them made. Right. And so she like restocks, and then every Tuesday she puts them on. Yeah. So that's that's actually, and they're much better masks on Firebird Leather, I must say. Like that's the one I use when I go grocery shopping because mm-hmm. it's a solid mask. Yeah. Um, Anne's Tanya makes them. They are three layers thick, so you cannot even blow out a candle. Right. Um, it's really well made, and I don't know if she's still doing it. But that's where I got mine. What else, people? What else do we got? How's Candy's hot box going these days? Candy's sweet box? Sweet box. <laughs> Candy's hot box. Well, you know, we haven't mentioned that in a couple episodes. We have not. And the thing is, until we can actually get things going back how they should normally oh. be. We just leave it. I hadn't really been. Like, I kept going with the word of the episode. And I was like, you know what? We don't have anything coming in to mm-hmm. give out to the listeners. That's true. True. So. Yeah. For the moment. Other than this awesome fucking content you're listening to. Right I mean, <laughs> I do have a beginner BDSM kit that we could give away. Well, see, you didn't sell me all From, that. From like Play-Doh or Play School? Um, no. <laughs> 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 um, no, but I do. I have that. It's a little kit. Um, actually, uh, Brad, Brad purchased that for us a while ago. And we were going to use it. And then you guys came up with something then else but i still have that so if we wanted to we could we could i mean that. it's not it's thanks not brad for the donation it's a nice little <laughs> kit for if you're beginning that's you know or or you want to take it on travel it's a great little travel kit okay so yeah. well, well then we will do that okay all right so the word for this episode i guess is going to be beginners no <laughs> let's do dollification oh okay we can do dollification spell it any way you want i don't care d-o-l-l-i-c you forgot I the F. F. I F. I just, fuck it. Whatever. However you want to spell it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, call or text Candy Sweetbox at, do you remember it? 805-303-1173. Well done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you Did you almost forget it? I, I was like, what are the four digits? I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't have any idea about the last seven, so I knew I had to throw the first three You out did there. really good. That was great. So yeah, dollification. 
Okay. Um, I'm totally going to be looking that up, and I'm going to be looking through my costume closet. I have a. Did you know I have a costume closet? No, yeah, I'm I do. Just, I'm just nodding because Pornhub. That's going to be in the listing here pretty soon. As soon as I get home. <laughs> uh, and like I said, Dalvocation is cool, but some of it, at least to me, is kind of like, ooh. Wait, why? 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 why yeah, the, wait. We didn't get that part. Yeah, you didn't share that I, part. I'm sorry. Well, I, th- I did say that some of like sometimes some of the masks like just right. look yeah. like too creepy for me. Yeah. And there are sometimes where. Um, when they are posing them in certain particular way, I'm like, that doesn't look anywhere. I understand that it's not vacation, not supposed to be natural, but that looks a little too far for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean too far? Oh, like, what did they, God. what did they do? Hold on. What are you thinking? I know very flexible people. <laughs> and yeah. now I'm wondering if we can make like that awkward, like you're talking about, like where it's just. Yeah. Like, like contortionistic and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 In those ways that. Looks creepy to me. Oh, okay. Like they're broken dolls. Like exactly. when you take your Barbie doll and you swing the arm all the way back. Like yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah. Oh. Like, like, oh, that shouldn't move that way. I, I wouldn't be able to be, I wouldn't be able to be posed in certain ways, people. So. <laughs> yeah, that's all we said. When we, we do ours, it's, yeah. So you heard that. She's all for us doing ours. So right. part of my, part of my, um, my pool cord menu yes. <laughs> needs to be, nope, nope, a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> and I should be able to pull the cord whenever yeah, I want. I was, I was just going to say, how do you know? It's... <laughs> it should... <laughs> tape it down with a little sign, a little post-it that says, do not pull. <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> May go off randomly. <laughs> Ooh, but you know, those pull tabs are, yeah, because my grandmother had a little clown that sat up in the corner of the bedroom when I was a little kid in the room I used to sleep in when I'd spend the night over there on the weekends, some weekends. And nobody would touch that fucking clown for seven months. I'd be laying there and it would just go ding and move a little bit. Like one little click. Oh, no. That was no. a ghost. I would be out of that Fuck fucking that. room. No. Okay, seriously, that is why I don't like dolls or c- clowns. They move. I'm and not. they carry little knives, and they will get you. <laughs> so we are the same age then, because I remember those movies too. <laughs> wait, wait, are you talking about Dalma, uh, um... Twilight Zone, the clown under the bed? Do you remember that oh. one? Ooh. I wasn't about that <laughs> and there was one. also a doll on Twilight Zone. No, I, I'm thinking black like, and white. <laughs> like my very first like scary doll moment was Puppet Child's Master. Play. Oh, Child's wait, Play. Wait, what did you say? Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Oh god! I yeah. never actually watched any of those. Movies. I've seen like clips from them. I'm like, nope, I'm good. I don't need any they of that. They were so good. Well, I, I say they were so good. I haven't seen them since they I was a kid. They were good at the time. Yeah. So that's the, the same reason I won't watch Pumpkinhead again, because it was so fucking amazing when I was a kid. I'm terrified to watch it now and be like, oh, come on. Really? Oh, it was, that was it? That was all it was? Yeah. Yeah. But no, um, Child's Play did that for me because, and I think I've told you this before. I don't. No, I don't think he's I pointing told you. at me. I was right. I, th- <laughs> I think I've told you, Lala, this before. I don't think I've told Thee. Uh, when I was young, I would say at my grandmother's. And my grandmother had this doll. It was a girl doll, but in a uh, baseball outfit. And if you walked, if you stepped hard enough on the floor, her eyes would blink. Oh, gosh. Wait. So here's what happened I am a child, and my mother is watching Child's play. And I happen to walk in, and this is the 80s where, oh, it's fine. So I'm watching this little doll run around, kill things, while my grandmother's, uh, and the doll is like my size, uh-huh. is sitting in the chair next to the television. Blinking? Not blinking, but, you know. Whenever. Watching and paying attention to what's going on. And yeah. learning. Yes. So uh. <laughs> there was a point where my mother told me, hey, take that doll down to the basement. Basement and doll? Heck no. I, did you throw it down the stairs? I did not because that doll was older than me and I feared my mother much more than I feared that doll. So what I did was... You cried and told it that you were sorry the whole way down. <laughs> did you I, put a pillowcase I, over her head? No, no. I picked the doll up. I was like, I can do it. Wait, 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 wait. When you picked her up, was her face facing you? Like over my, like over my shoulder. Oh, that's yeah. scary. Fireman carry. Man. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm like, I don't want, the, I don't want the damn thing blinking at me. Right, but the whole way down the stairs, I'd be thinking it's getting ready to bite me. Oh in yeah, the back. it's like its little arms are getting ready to like get its claws and dig them into your tushy. So here's the thing. I'm, I'm a young kid. <laughs> Hope you so don't what, have a nightmare about this later or anything. <laughs> I won't. So here's what happened. 
I'm a young kid. I ran down the stairs. My safety did not even factor into this. I ran down the stairs. I ran to where my mother told me to put it. I put it there and I ran back upstairs. And the doll chased you. She was on your heels. Luckily, it did not. It did not get caught on any of my clothing and like chased behind me. Oh my gosh. In your defense, you were a child. I would do that today. Me too. Okay? Me. No, no, no. 41 I would... years old, I'd run down the fucking steps, throw it down, and then run back up those no, steps. No, no. I would totally be like, red. Right. <laughs> the oh. same as like when you do turn Do it your off, own self. Like, I, where was the last time I lived in a place that had stairs? But you turn the lights off downstairs and then run upstairs real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. a grown-ass man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was the only athletic shit I did. Oh, I, oh, here's the other parts of the basement. Oh. The lights for the basement weren't at the top of the stairwell. No. Of you had course to go not. down there. You had to pull the string. <gasps> oh, fuck that. Oh. I didn't even pull the string with that. I just like, put it, run. Right. <laughs> wow, that's really... As you see, I still remember very vividly everything that happened there. And I bet your heart was just going crazy. Yes, it was. Yes, because mine would have too. That's, yeah. Yeah. I, oh. I, anybody who, who does not have a staircase with a light switch at the bottom and the top... <laughs> That is poor, like, planning. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Now the, and again, there's no switch. It's just you have to pull the string on the light. Right? Yeah. So, so you, you can't even, like, yank it because you'll just snap it. Yeah, exactly. The other thing about basements, what if that door closes and locks and you can't get out and no one's home and you're stuck in there? Then you're stuck in the basement. You're stuck in there and you go to pull the string on the light and the, the string breaks and the light doesn't turn on and when you're the now in the dark. down there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Well, here, here's the saving grace for that at my grandmother's house. Um, at a certain point, my mother stayed in the basement. So there was a whole extra room off to the side that was hers. So if all else failed and that, and that door at the top locked, I would go in her room. I would shut her door. She's got a TV in here. I'm good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. But what if you get hungry or have to go to the bathroom? I will. There was a phone in my mother's room. Oh, wow. I will call somebody. I'm just trying to freak. Pizza know. Hut. I need a pizza, but can you come inside and come down to the, where the basement door is? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm just calling back again. I need the driver to come inside and open the basement. No, that, really. That's what they call the cops right. and wonder what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Oh, my oh. God. That's so funny. Like, basements. Yeah. I want a basement um, because I want it to be a dungeon. But that would be different. That would be somewhere not be in California. Different. They do have basements in California. Yeah, you can. I mean, you if you build it. your own house, you yeah. can make one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm not building my own house. Right. I'm not paying the premium of buying a house with a basement already. So. Mm, just saying. But if you did build your own house, it would be cheaper than if you bought a house. If I built my own house, nobody would come there and be like, no, Austin did. Oh, Austin did this by himself. Oh. <laughs> well, you wouldn't build it. Yeah. <laughs> Contractors <laughs> build yeah. it. Um, you know what's crazy is in Texas where they have hurricane, not, not hurricane, tornado, tornadoes. Is that the spinning thing? They have thing? both of those spinny? hurricanes and tornadoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, the tornado is the spinny one and not yes. in the sky, right? A lot of the houses in Texas don't have basements or um, those where you open the doors outside and you go underground where they keep shelter. Yeah, they don't have them. They don't have them. Well, they're in Texas. They know that they can just shoot it. Well, they also have hurricanes in Texas. So if you have a basement like that, it could just flood out, which would rot away probably a lot of your home. But you got a swimming up. pool now. <laughs> but it doesn't work. It's not that easy. Indoor swimming. That's not how that goes. <laughs> That's not how that works. If, you ha if, if a hurricane gets your house, your house is ruined anyways. Not and, necessarily. And the same with a tornado. But at no, least you have a better chance in a hurricane than you do a tornado. Um, because a tornado, if it hits your house, you're fucked pretty much. But hurricanes, they, you can be in a hurricane and not really have, it could not be a bad hurricane for you, your house, you know, why it might, a couple miles away, it might be washing shit away. But Because hurricanes bring tidal waves, right? They can. Well, they're, bye-bye house. They don't have to. Floaty, floaty, bye-bye. A lot of them, they bring storm surge. I'm just saying, in a, in a state like Texas, there should be fallout shelters. That's not what they're called? Yeah. Anyway. Fallout shelters. Um, well, fallout is for not the fallout shelters, but uh, whatever. Does it, storm but shelters. I'm just saying storm, storm shelters. shelters. Yeah, because yeah. my one of my best friends lives there, and I was, she's always house hunting. I'm like, make sure it has a basement because she's always posting tornadoes, and they go and get in the bathtub. Like, no, get a freaking basement. Are there a lot of tornadoes basement. in Texas? Though? Yeah, 
Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's part of Tornado Alley. Is it? Yeah. Well, the area she's in, yeah. The, like ru- the rural. Yeah. Well, it's all rural. It's no, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> it's too, other than what? Dallas? And Austin. Houston and Austin? But, yeah. Well. The whole rest of the huge ass freaking have you been there many times have i you drove been a there? truck woman have you ever eaten at the big texan no oh what? so good where's that at like on the border of um what is arizona know. yeah or i mean new mexico oh, no, no. whatever whatever i drove through and then there was the border and then there was texas and as soon as you drive into texas there's the big texan and it's like a steakhouse it's probably new mexico amaze balls like amaze balls I, I so, ate it like truck stops. So hold on. It's not a truck stop. Uh, no, I mean, that's where I ate. Oh, because you drove a truck. Yeah. Oh, so here's my thing. As Lala's explaining this, I'm thinking, all right, so it's a big Texan and it's a steakhouse. So the, it's like, hey, go to a big Texan and get that nice, juicy meat. <laughs> big and tasty. <laughs> Thanks, Lavender. <laughs> I still don't have a porn name. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Well, she did. I did uh, wish her a happy birthday on her. Well, the day after her birthday because I got distracted. Mm-hmm. Um, and I asked her if she listened. She said she listened. She loved it. And uh, yeah, she would like to come back at some point eventually. Ooh, maybe Luscious Lala. Ooh. Ooh. Lavender, that was just off the top of my head like you did. Luscious well Lavender. There we go. Luscious Lavender? I mean, Luscious Lala. Sorry. <laughs> I've got Lavender on the brain now. Because remember, I want to be her best friend. Yes. <laughs> her new best friend. <laughs> her new best friend. All right. I think have we have we talked about enough? I think we did. Oh, wow, this is gonna be a long episode. <laughs> well, that's okay. People are bored and they want it. And you know what? I'm always sad when it's over. Oh, when wait. I'm listening to it. Wait, wait, Lala. Huh? Say it. They want it. They want it. They really. I want, want it. it. How badly do you want it? Though? I want it so bad. Oh my god! So, I, listeners, I can you... I can be intimate now. My doctor said so. Oh. <laughs> that's why she's agreeing to all this. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. I was just going to read a story about you being intimate. Oh, go and go. (laughs) (laughs) Where are the books? Wait, you know what's so weird? Oh, the books. Here's here's my thing. Okay, so so Gotham Might Land, you guys know that I had my uterus removed six, seven weeks ago. And Um, if you didn't know, surprise. Surprise. No uterus. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. I'm so excited. Here's my thing, though. How is that going to feel now? On the inside. Like, is that going to be weird? I don't know. I can't tell you. I've never had a Yeah, me neither. You're asking two of the wrong fucking people. (laughs) (laughs) We couldn't tell you what it felt like before. (laughs) I mean, I can can kind of explain what a little bit it feels like in the fingertips. (laughs) (laughs) I just, I just have this, like, this little concern now, like. There's a part of my inside that are missing. Is that going to be weird? And I know that it's like was way up there, but um, I can I, don't know. I can confidently <laughs> say, as a heterosexual man that has never had a uterus, that you will be okay. You we- should try some. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I did. I did ask if I could have my uterus in the hospital in the in the surgery room. I said, "Can I have it when you guys get it out?" And they're like, oh, well, we have to take it to pathology to make sure it's all healthy and stuff. But if you write to pathology, they'll probably give it to you afterwards. And then they were like, well, why do you want it? And I said, moon ceremony. I want to burn it on the fire. (laughs) Did you get it? No. Oh. Oh. Did you follow through and write? I didn't. Oh, that's why. That's on you. I know. That would have been cool. That was actually a really cool idea. It was, but I'm a chicken. Actually, I was healing and like right. out yeah. of it. You're like, okay, that's not on the priority that, list like, right now. That's yeah. something that you ha- say, hey, write this on my behalf because mm-hmm. I won't be able to. Or now that you know, you know, if you ever had anything else removed later on, you can. The thing is that when you come out writing. of surgery and you go home and you're like bedridden for the first few days, it's not on your mind. Right. And how all. quick do you need to write? Like, how quick do they do the testing? Probably before you leave the hospital. That, right? that, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Talk to somebody beforehand. And then, like, then they get rid of it. Yeah, they probably yeah they just they probably of it. burned it they, they, in they, their own moon ceremony. Bi- biohazard waste, so it goes into the bio bio bend. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it gets clean with righteous fire. Okay, I'm sorry. Or somebody takes it home and makes soup. Ew. Yeah, just saying. Rawr, 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 rawr. That's probably true on some in some places. I don't. I don't yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> who's that guy? 
I mean, if he had Hannibal the... Hannibal Lecter? Yeah, if he had... Who was a fictional character? I'm just saying. If yeah, he had true. the ability to get Bill. into a hospital... He's he, also a fictional character. He could, just like some thieves we know, could just pocket a little uterus here or there, <laughs> take it home and cook it up while watching uh, Fantastic Four. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of pussy in my life, but I don't think I've ever eaten either. Would you have it with a little bit of Keontae? Actually, that's probably <laughs> not true um, if anybody has their red wings. Oh, uh, yeah, I do not have my red wings. Wait, what? Your uterus lining is shed as well, right? When you have your period. Yeah. So you get different wings as guys for. So a lot of people have eaten uterus and they just didn't realize it. Was <laughs> 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 okay, now I'm really ending the show. <laughs> On that, it's got to be a better idea. Then what are we going to end on? Like frosted cupcakes and rainbow sprinkles? <laughs> How do we even Unicorn get there? Farts? How do I don't we even know. get there from here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, final thoughts. I have nothing. I don't even know what we're doing right now. Okay, Lala, final thoughts. Okay, my final thought. I am like so old into this lifestyle, and I just learned a new kink, dollification, and I'm all for it. And I'm so excited to go look it up and, 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 and yeah, I want to just. You want to be a doll? Uh, yeah. I want to be a doll and I want to like see what other people have done in, in that, in that doll Space. world. Yeah. Okay. That's so hot. We can do it. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yes, definitely. Yes. I am very happy that you both seem very happy about this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What if we both would have just been like, yeah, okay, cool. Next. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like a 30 minute episode. <laughs> in which and case, we're done. <laughs> in which case, it's happened. Like, all right, neither of you are coming back ever again. That's boring. That's. <laughs> no, no, la la. If you're going to say you have to say it correctly. I don't know. That's dumb. That... That's, that's, but I say it's boring also. Yeah, but you don't say that's boring. You say what that's I say? dumb. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. All right. So, listeners, uh, my, yeah. <laughs> my final thoughts. Uh, Thief, thank you for coming back. My pleasure. Very happy to have you here. Lala. Yes. Thank you for always coming. Uh, well, I haven't back. come in forever. <laughs> That's a problem. Will I be able to? Yes. I don't even know. Yes, you will. Okay. All right. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know because I don't know what all. I, I should do a little more. I should do some Experimentation? Study. Lala. Huh? Do you not have toys for yourself? I am never alone. I mean... You're no. always alone if you have a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> that I think I'm true. joking. I am that not fucking joking. True. Dark parking lot. Uh, you need, not my you need thing. dark parking lot at this point. Nobody's out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You don't even need to leave the driveway. It's not my thing. Just slip away. No, because I got, I got kids that come in and out. Of your car? Of my driveway. Well, then take a little drive. Yeah, drive to an okay, empty people, parking lot. People, I'm not doing that. It's not my thing. Okay. No. Okay. Well, then just live in your ignorance. Well, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. She's right. not going to do it in her car. So, Lala, we have this entire house, you know. That's true. And a hot tub. <laughs> and a dungeon. And a yeah, dungeon. Yeah, but she would need supervision in the dungeon. I will supervise. <laughs> <laughs> she may want an audience. You can come on for that. Oh, that's true. Hey, awesome. What are your final thoughts? <laughs> All right. So... Well, now it's, hmm, what, how can we get Lala to? Right. And we're doing this for you, by the way. I know. You guys like, are givers. You guys are so good to me. Oh, Lala, we would love to give it to you. <laughs> Say your final thoughts. Let's go. I mean, wasn't I? Yeah. You were. And then we got on the tangent. What Not the, a tangent. What those a, part of my final thoughts? Just a planner. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Set yes, a time. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. It's great to actually get people back together again it is i it's, can't wait till we can do this on a regular basis it feels good yeah two weeks later <laughs> 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 wait what I, I know what he's going for i don't we're all in isolation in different chambers because we stepped outside of the house for oh. two fucking minutes oh because yeah. now we all have it yeah yeah two weeks. that's my luck by the way i should have warned you guys ahead of time if it wasn't for bad luck i wouldn't have any at all Hey, do you guys think it's going to hit again hard? Hit again? It's not going anywhere. It's not left. No, 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 no. I know, but like the curve went down. Do you think yeah, it's going to go up? As soon as they open the like, fucking doors two weeks later, it's going to be go- crazy. That's what I think, too. It's like they're already yeah. talking. Well, I think what they're saying right now is a little bit bullshit because 
Like you'll see the news report saying, well, they've been open for three days and already skyrocketing cases. Not quite yet, buddy. But wait, wait a week or two. Yeah, when the actual tests start coming back. Right. Because it, it takes two weeks. Wait, it huh? can. It if incubates. They're testing people. It can. It incubates two weeks. Yeah, but if they're actually testing right. people. Right. Well, our, yeah, the danger yam said we can go ahead and, you know, wipe this whole thing up and we just stop testing. No more new cases. Well, that's true. What the fuck? <laughs> no more new cases, but a lot more deaths for some yeah. reason. That's just uh, anyway. Sorry, right. it's okay. It's all right. So yeah, those are my final thoughts. Stay, hey kids, stay safe out there. Please stay do your, safe in there. Yes, yeah, stay safe yeah. in there. Do your best to flatten the curve. Um, and with that, we are out. Wear a condom. <laughs>